it's that time again. It's Music Mondays, and I'm so excited to be vibing with you all. Don't forget to like and share this video and also to leave your comments below. So my guest is waiting for us to really, really just head dive into this interview, and I'm so excited. Thank you, Sinead, for, for joining us today and taking the time out to talk to our listeners and also our viewers. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Yeah. Can you, sorry, the volume just going down again. If you could just repeat the question. Okay, can you start off by telling us um, who Shanae is, um, some background of where you grew up and the woman that you've become? Of course. Um, so I, I was born in Cape Town, South Africa. I'm a South African, born and raised. I have always had a love for, for music, um, for art, anything creative, making something with my hands. And um, I, was, I was brought up kind of in the church. My dad's a pastor. So my whole life I've been in ministry. I've seen the whole worship scene. Um, yeah, and I've always had a, a passion to use what God has given me to enhance his kingdom, even if it's just a painting or a song. Um, I, I, that's how I would summarize myself in a way. Yeah. Wow. And yeah. sounds like a really ordinary girl that just loves Jesus and, and doing the art. Um, um, also, um, I know for some musicians, it's a difficult industry. What would you say about that? Yeah, it's, it's definitely tough. Um, there are some tough decisions because sometimes you, you're tempted to compromise especially as a woman i think in the industry it can be a little challenging mm. but i think that when you know your truth and that is firm in your heart um you you will know when it's wrong and when yes. it's right like the holy spirit will convict you of that yes. so i think once you once you 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 go into it you just need to go into it with god mm. all the way um, from beginning to end um, um yeah for sure I totally mm -hmm. agree with that. Um, we're talking about your single, Who Am I? For me, when you read the title of the song, it's like a question that you ask yourself. Um, what would you say is the message behind Who Am I? Because I know for some of us, or uh, many of us, it's a challenging question that you ask yourself, especially if you are a woman. Um, so what would you say is the message behind that song? That song I, I wrote um, right in the beginning of lockdown and I was, I was challenged by like, suddenly the whole world was at the same place. Like everyone was sitting at home watching Netflix or something. Yeah. And it's like, who are we? Who am I? What, what, what is my purpose on earth? And it's suddenly like, I think often like with near death experience or um, like harsh experience, you suddenly like, ask yourself the question, what is my purpose? Who am I really? Um, and this song I wrote um, like just one Sunday afternoon and I wrote it um, for young people, especially, and just for everyone, you know, just um, yes. who are you? And, and I think it's it's getting that, um, understanding that in your heart. Mm. Um, and it's it's a, a bit of like a, a revival song. It's, it's kind of... Um, yeah, like an up song. I don't know yeah. how to explain it, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I just love, love the song so much that I can't stop listening to it. I know for, for musicians, normally when they start writing this, something that kicks in, it's like, oh, I can write about that. Um, what would you say was the inspiration behind the song? song? Um, definitely a whole a thing about like, I wanted to write a song that wasn't your typical worship song. Mm. Um, I, I love worship. I'm a worship leader. Yeah. So um, especially in the church and everything. But but I wanted to write a song that young people can listen to and be like, this is really cool. I want to yeah. like listen to this again. Or, you know, when you're doing like a workout session, you can listen to the song and, it, it, you know, like you can actually enjoy it. Yeah. Um, so 
Yeah, that was my inspiration behind the song. And um, the producers I, I work with, they really helped create that whole effect. Obviously, there's a whole production side to the music as well. Mm. Um, but yeah, that was the inspiration behind it. Mm -hmm. I have to add that uh, you say that it was mostly for for youngsters. Um, me listening to it as a youngster, I can really say that I want to jam that in my car and just turn up the volume, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, where, where did it all start for you? Uh, where did it start for you musically? It's always been there. I, I've written songs since I was nine years old. Um, and it's, it's not even something I can explain. Like sometimes even when I'm sleeping, I'll get songs in my sleep and I'll wake up and I'll be like, this is a really good song. And then I'll never record it. Wow. Um, but you know, it's, 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 um, I don't know. It's always been there. Like I've always loved, um, playing piano, guitar or any instrument I could find. Um, but uh, yeah, I would say when I was nine, it, it kind of started. Um, wow. I, I think the, yeah, I, I wrote some very weird songs in the beginning because you're like nine years old. Um, <laughs> you mature as you get older. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> besides writing, what do you do besides writing songs or recording? Um, so I, I'm also an artist. Um, I have a, a business, an art business, where I teach workshops for um some people in the community in versa there's there's also some disabled people so i try help with that as well wow. um in, in creative aspects to to help young children learn and stuff um and i'm also starting to be a pastor at the moment wow cool. yes that's cool <laughs> yeah, yeah. So wow cool. um yeah so anything within the arts industry um i'm always trying to get involved with and also um yeah, connect with, with ministries um, in, in a way that I can help um, with worship initiatives and things like that. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Is Who Am I your first single or second? No, this is, I don't know how many there's been, I'm not sure, but this is um, like like official um, radio release single. It's probably the third one. Mm -hmm. So I started in 2019 uh, with um, with Helmut Mayer, Stonebear Stone and Mayer uh, studio in Stellenbosch. And I started working with them that year. And that's when I started really pursuing it and deciding I'm going to I'm going to give this everything because I, I really am passionate about it. Um, yeah. Wow. I can see all the passion that you have. Um, while speaking about it, um, I know um, COVID-19 has affected all of us in so many ways. How did COVID-19 affect you? Um, for, for me, it was actually a good effect, um, strange enough, because I, I know a lot of people um, lost a lot of things. They lost job opportunities and a lot more. Um, mm -hmm. But I think the one thing for, for me that really stood out was that God really provided, even though it was a challenging time. Um, mm. I also basically lost my job near the middle of it. and um, But financially, um, God just provided in so many ways. So it, wow. it, it really made me have a, a greater faith in God and trust in God wow. to provide. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. amazing. Um, what is next for Shane? Um, yo, a lot. <laughs> there, I hope. So. I mean, there's a lot um, happening behind the scenes, which I'm really excited about. Um, there's a, a music video going to come later on, but that's still a surprise. Um, um, yeah, so there's, there's a few things in the works. Um, and yeah, I just, I mean, it's, it's amazing how there's such a favor on all of this. And I think that's only God, like, because I, I say to God in the beginning of this whole journey, um, he's in my music. Like mm -hmm. I want him part of this journey. And, and I think when you, you seek first the kingdom of God, all the things will be added unto you. Amen. So it's been, 
it's been amazing because it hasn't even been a man man-made kind of favor it's been a, a god kind of favor which is wow. amazing yes that mm. is really awesome also the pastor is coming up you being a pastor as well soon as yes, <laughs> yes. If, they, yeah. if there's any young aspiring um, musician, songwriter, singer listening to you right now, what would your words, words be for them? Never, ever give up. Um, take every little opportunity because the little ones create the big ones that, that do come eventually. Mm. Um, yeah, I would say just... Put everything into it. Um, if you want it and you really want it, you, you will get it. That's what I believe. I like that. Yeah. I like that so much. Um, where can our listeners get your song, Who Am I, if they if they want it? So it is available on all the uh, platforms like Spotify, Apple Music. Um, yeah, and then I, I have a Facebook page as well, Sinead and a YouTube channel. So anywhere on those networks that they want to check it out, you can definitely find me there. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Any last words you want to add? Oh my goodness. It's <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, would, I would just say, um, I really hope people enjoy this song and I, I really hope that this becomes a sort of an anthem to two young people out there um, for the, the Christian world. Um, yeah, and God bless. That's, that's it. Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much, Sinead. Thank you for, for being with us and sharing with us, and thank you for sharing your passion, and may God enlarge your footsteps. I enjoy talking to you. Thank you. Me too. God bless you. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. So that was all for today. And please um, don't forget to like and share this video and also leave your comments below. And we'll see you next time, next week, Monday. It's Music Mondays once again. Dot sins.